Welcome back. We have a fun activity to do together next. So this morning we read a story about this little guy here. Do you remember what his name is? This is Corduroy. And we read a pocket for Corduroy. So Corduroy went looking for a pocket at a laundromat. And while he was there, he met a man wearing an artist's beret. He was an artist. And there was a part in the story where he saw the colors swirling and swirling around and he felt inspired to make a painting. We're going to do a painting together. So here are the things we need. And you can make it like this or you can make it all your own, it's up to you. All right, so you need some plain paper. Please don't do this without a grown-up. Make sure you have a grown-up to help you. You need some paints and you can pick whatever colors you like. You can use a paintbrush if you want to, but I'm going to use my finger as a paintbrush. I'm going to use it like finger paint. And then you also might want to have some paper towels handy, just in case we get into a little bit of a mess. All right, so some paint, some paper, and some paper towels. All right, we're going to carefully take the caps off of the paint we want to use. And actually, there's enough in the cap on mine that I'm going to use a little bit from there. Okay, so I'm gonna get a paper towel ready. And I'm going to use my finger and dip it in the paint. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And I'm gonna swirl it like I saw in the story. I like that idea. Okay, little bit and swirl. All right, if I wanna change colors, I'm going to wipe my hands on the paper towel, not my clothes. All right, and I'm done with green for now. So I'm going to put the cap back on and I'm gonna pick another color. I think I'll do purple. Corduroy wanted a purple pocket. All right, little bit. And you can put it on top or you can put it next to it. Just swirl it around. Did you ever watch the colors in a washing machine as your clothes are tumbling around and around? It's kind of neat in a washer or a dryer. What color should I use next? What do you think? That's a great idea. Is that your favorite color? I think I'll use some orange. And I'm gonna go right over here. And then I'm gonna swirl it in. What are you making your picture of? Are you making swirls like I am? Or are you making something else? I'm gonna use some yellow next. All right, I've got one more color I'd like to add. It's the color I'm wearing. I'm gonna use some red. Just a little bit. I would love to see your pictures. Maybe when you're done, you can send me a picture on Class Dojo so I can see what you made. Be creative. You can do it like this, or you can do it any way you want. You can keep it in the middle like I did, or you can make it real big and cover your whole paper. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. 
How does it feel on your fingers? Does it feel slippery and slimy? Is it warm or cold? Do you like the way it feels? Or do you think it's yucky? I think it's fun to paint with my fingers. All right. And my hands are nice and clean, but I still think when I'm done here, I'll go give them a good wash. All right, I think I'm done with my picture. When you're all done, you might wanna write on it what you made. I'm gonna write, I made clothes. Swirling. What do you think swirling starts with? Swirling. It starts with an S. In the wash. If you can't write the letters, that's okay. Remember to ask for help. Grownups are here to help you. All right, my picture's all done. I made clothes swirling in the wash. Oh, I forgot something important. You won't know this is my picture if I don't write my name on it. There's my name. All right, remember, it's good practice to write your name. All right. I can't wait to see your pictures. Remember to send them to me on Class Dojo so I can enjoy them too. All right, friends, I'll meet you back in a little bit. Have fun painting.